we are finally here. So let's go through a little bit of a store tour. <laughs> Way bigger, honestly bigger than I thought. I saw a lot online that people said he was really um, small, but I actually think he's a lot bigger than I expected. Here's Ghostface. Coming through the carnival, we've got towering Tallulah. I don't know if she's on sensor. Oh no, step pad over here. I am so excited right now. I don't even know. I'm trying to contain it. <laughs> Look at that. Have that wheel of fate. Spin it. I find that neat. And what I like is this is a metal of some sort. It's not plastic. I thought maybe it'd be plastic or wood or something, but it's not. So that I find pretty neat. There you go. <laughs> He's kind of cool, actually. I would just position his arms a little differently, but we got these ducks here as well. We got giant death ray. Now, what I like is I have a lot of like small, just little pieces that are all on the theme. So it's just small details that I really like. Gordo, all these like collectibles as well. What I noticed, Gordo in Canada is the same price as he was last year. Typically, Spirit Halloween, typically they will rise their price by like ten dollars. So he's the same price, which I find pretty neat. I already have this one, but we'll watch him go again. That's cool. Got the Carnival poster, which we can take a look at the animatronics. For the ones that they don't have here, you're able to just kind of like scan this QR code, which is kind of neat. Still walked into a dark alley. Before we move on to the back, we have the city, scary city, scarecrow. Yeah, scary one. Not that scary though. Nibbles should be here, but they don't have them yet. But we also do have the ticket booth with Wanda Webworth, which I actually think she's a lot better in person than on video. way better in person like I'm, I'm considering purchasing her she's really cool in person now here we got probably the most popular animatronic of 2024 and that is cotton candy dan so let's get him going as well yum, yum, yum. sometimes it's sweet sometimes it's not the pop-up mech's a little loud, but other than that, he's really cool. Heading around here. We'll head in there in a second. But heading around here. They do, unfortunately, only have Victor, but that's okay. What's neat is I can smell the cotton candy from the scents in there, which I'll explain that in a sec. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. That's so crazy, I can smell cotton candy. That's so crazy, that's really cool. Here we have Barnaby, Barnaby the bear. Looks a little 
little more like a teddy bear in my opinion, but that's okay. <laughs> and now let's walk through the fun house of terror. Heading in here, right away it is massive waft of cotton candy everywhere. It is just cotton candy. That's literally all I smell. It smells great. It actually smells so good. That's neat. Here is this kind of neat looking clown mirror. See me. This is neat. This is cool. I just can't get out of here. This just smells like cotton candy. It's so cool. And it's coming from that scent box right there. Taking a look at some of these boxes. Here we got Barnaby the Bear, as well as Victor from Corpse Bride. Emily will be coming in shortly to this location. Over here we got Cotton Candy Dan, and then Wanda Webworth, of course, Cerberus, and uh, Man's Possessed Friend. Over there we got Max uh, Gordo, and I think that is Giant Death Ray, yep. Over here, we got a couple carryovers. Slim, Mr. Punchy, poor George. What's this one down here? Nozzles, Dagger Mike, but I think he's returned for this year. I don't fully remember though. And then over here, Demonic Gatekeeper, Gravestone Ghoul, which I'm considering picking up today. Down the line, and then a just a pose and stay skeleton. Here we got a bunch of home decor, stuff like that. It's kind of a wall of stuff. A bunch of stuff here. I don't know, do these turn on? Try the button. I don't know. Bobbleheads. More bobbleheads. <laughs> Doesn't do much. That's okay. This I find really neat. That looks so, so cool. I'm a big Frankenstein fan, so that, that looks neat. That's a cool statue. But they have more, of course. They have Sam, the Michael Myers, oh, sorry, the Michael Myers pumpkin, Michael Myers and Scream, which honestly, I would argue these are two of the best horror characters that have ever landed, ever. Killer Clowns, Crypt Keeper, and a bunch of side steppers. Jumping Spiders. They have a new one this year. It's a gray one. Could find kind of neat. Great jumping spider. Here's the lighting display. You got the hanging flame lights. You got like shutter lights. So it kind of like shows what each one does. There's the shutter lights. There's fire and ice. The bats right there. So it kind of like shows up. Oh, that's blurry. Kind of shows each one, which I find kind of neat. Bunch of costumes, kids, adults, scary, not scary, funny, whatever. You got it all here. Here is their fog machines and some more lights. Got like strobe lights and stuff, black lights and fog machines, fog juice, all of the stuff for all of those needs, which I also find pretty neat. And then we also got all the decor. So it's not really cool yet because this is opening day. We got Scary Flying Ghost, which I made an unboxing of, which was actually really awesome. I had a lot of fun doing that. More stuff, just a bunch of decor, things like that. You know, it's all over the place. I'm debating on which animatronic I want today. I'm debating between Gravestone Ghoul, Demonic Gatekeeper, Scream. I really like Max Straw, so I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I'll have to look around and see. We have more stuff, mats, stuffed animals. Really smells like cotton candy in this store. Like, oh my goodness. It just smells like a carnival in here. It's kind of cool, actually. 
I think this one is a lot more strong. Like this scent is a lot more strong in the store because it like smells everywhere. It just smells like cotton candy. You got tons of masks. You know, you got the scary ones, uh, licensed ones, all of that stuff. It's all here as well as weapons. You, know, you got everything you can need. And then back to decor, you got skeletons and tombstones and stuff. Let's go see those. These I don't recognize. So these seem kind of new. It's an animated tombstone. That's cool. That's neat. Tomb of Lost Souls. I assume this is like a photo booth of some sort. You know, you got that photo booth. And then all the OG tomb. Those are new. Never mind. These are the OG tombstones, the stuff you've seen every year. And then some more stuff. Here we got the new activation switches for this year. There is not any in the display, which is a little unfortunate, but you know, it happens. It happens. One thing I missed was actually the gray jumping spider. I didn't see this. I guess I just walked past it. There's the demo for that. Movie. The carnival attraction stick or like paper. I think with a lot of consideration, this is going to be my day one purchase. So expect an unboxing to come out very soon for the gravestone goal. But man, I think I need Scream. I need Max Draw. These are some really neat animatronics in this lineup for 2024.